Could the Obama administration be going czar crazy? There are now reportedly 33 special envoys, maybe 34. None of them have to go through a confirmation process, and that has our next guest steamed. Congressman Jack Kingston introduced legislation that would require czars to be confirmed by Congress, just like cabinet posts, right, Congressman? Yes, and, and that is a constitutional duty. It, it's Article 2, Section 2 of the Constitution says that um, key advisors to the president have to be named with the consent and advice of the U.S. Senate. And that's why they vote on not just cabinet members, but sub-cabinet members, uh, deputy assistant secretaries, all kinds of people that never make the headlines. But the U.S. Senate has a crack at them so they can get their background and sort of vet them a little bit. Exactly. And so this has become the new thing in the Obama administration. Now, by your numbers, 34 czars. Let's give folks some information this morning. A lot of people want to know how much money do they make. By your account, it's $172,000 a year. Is that across the board? Yes, and now, and, and we don't know how many staffers they have too, so, but if, if you just think in terms of uh, 33 czars plus 10 staffers, 330 people um, at, a, at decent salaries, that, that's a big bureaucracy that we're, we're creating outside of the knowledge and the realm of Congress because they don't come before us for their budgets, they don't uh, come before us with their reports on what they're doing on regulations, on cars, right. on the Great Lakes, it, on the, it, everything else. Exactly. You bring up cars, uh, the auto task force czar has no car experience. I believe nobody on the entire auto task force has auto experience. So that's one issue. The second issue is they're doing parallel work, these czars, are they not, to the cabinet positions? We have terrorism czars, we have Guantanamo closure czars, um, we have Sudan czars, and you have to ask yourself, well, what is Secretary Gates, the Secretary of Defense, supposed to be doing, or Secretary Guerin, the Secretary of the Army, if you have all these czars outside of their realm? And as you pointed out, we really don't know what their background is. If you're the Guantanamo closure czar, what is your expertise that's better than anything that's already existing inside the Pentagon? So what is your analysis of why the Obama administration is doing this. I think they're going around Congress so that they can have their own flexibility and get things done. And um, I, think, I think it's just basically an end around. And unfortunately, they're totally unchecked because Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi will basically rubber stamp anything the administration wants done. The other day when we were having this debate, I asked all the uh, chairmen of the subcommittees of appropriation, how many of you, and these are the guys in charge of spending the money, watching the budgets, I asked how many of you have ever had one of these R's in front of your committee to review his or her budget and ask them what they're doing and how many staffers they need and what their expenses are. Not one hand went up. No one has seen these people in front of Congress. And, and you know, one thing we, we, we still are fairly good at on the Hill is right. oversight. I mean, we, we like to raise cane. Yeah, well, uh, according to historical staffers that we have here, Russia had 18 czars in 300 years. Uh, in three or four months, Obama has gone above that. Uh, Representative Jack Kingston, Republican from Georgia, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you, Greston.